What exactly were you trying to accomplish here, dear? I wanted Brian to ask me to a dance. Previously on Luna the Witch. Why did you think you could do this? Plus, we took an oath. We only do light spells. Love charms borderline dark magic. Hi. Auntie Fran performed a time travel spell. Uses all your magic. If anyone's giving you their magic, it's me. Mom. Twist and turn and formulate. Bring him back before it's too late. All you have to do is tie this around Brian's wrist and ring this bell. Come, on, come back. Come back to me. I had a really great time tonight. Me too. Huh? You, a really good dancer. Oh, it's a vibe. Uh, I got you something. Oh, Brian. <laughs> Do you like it? It's perfect. <laughs> I, uh, I really like you, Luna. I really like you too, Brian. Brian, I... Uh, try holding your breath. Doesn't that usually help? Uh, I think I just need some water. Ah! I thought scaring you would work. Um, I I'll text you tomorrow. Well, uh, sweet dreams, Lord of the Witch. What? The costume. Oh, yeah, right. Good night. Please don't hiccup anymore. Stop them on the count of four. One, two, three. <gasps> Sorry, Lou. I was just, um, I thought I saw a spider. Get out of here, you spider. Were you eavesdropping? No, I was just, uh, okay, maybe just a little. Mom! <laughs> Come on, Lou. I want to hear all about the dance. Well, the music was actually pretty good. Oh, and everyone had really great costumes. Stacy Dawson dressed up as a coffee cat, and she, like, had photocopies of cats taped all over her, which, I mean, I actually thought it was pretty funny, but... <laughs> what is happening to me? Bad case of the hiccups? Yeah. I thought I cured them with magic, but... <gasps> Follow me. Come on. So, you think there's a magical reason for my hiccups? I do. Let's see. Oh, here it is. 
Oftentimes, an uncontrollable case of the hiccups is the result of a witch or a warlock time traveling to a decade or millennium before they were born. It is believed by many that the body must acclimate itself back to the present time and does so by performing irregular bodily functions. Other symptoms may include uncontrollable sneezing, belching, or flatulence. <laughs> well, thank goodness it was only the hiccups, huh? <laughs> Wait, time traveling? I don't remember time traveling. <gasps> Maybe you were summoned. Who would, uh, who would summon me? Okay, first, let's get rid of those hiccups. Okay, let me just, um, Oh, right. Uh, no magic. Um, Luna, you were psychic, though. I have returned to present day. Now make these hiccups go away. Oh, thanks, Mom. That was getting really annoying. Sure thing, Lou. I'm just uh, sorry I couldn't do it for you. Is it hard not being able to use magic anymore? Yeah, a little. Just sort of feels like I went through a bad breakup. This whole thing was my fault. If, if I didn't mess everything up with a love potion, then Auntie Fran would have never have had to use the time travel spell. And then you wouldn't have had to give up your magic hey, for her. What's important now is that you're safe, right? I give up my magic a thousand times if it meant keeping you safe. I love you. So, I was summoned. Can't believe you lose your memory after a summoning. I mean, that just seems too unfair. I wish there was a way to remember what happened. Well, although there isn't a spell to restore your memory, you might be able to find out something. Your amulet is a powerful thing. Not only does it serve as a conduit for your magic, but it can help you in other ways, too. Here, recite this spell and then ask it a question. Well, it might not give you all the answers, but it might give you something. From the heavens of Gemini, Taurus, and Cancer, help provide me with an answer. My question now is to know where I went. Uh, it has to rhyme. Or I'll be in discontent. Nineteen eighty-six. I was summoned to the eighties. Totally tubular. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Never mind. Even though I can't remember anything, it feels good to know that I helped someone. I'm just like Auntie Freya. Mm. And she would be very proud of you. So, uh, what else can I ask my amulet? I think that's enough for one night, don't you? Come on, you ready to head up to bed? Okay. Check without your amulet? 